approach. But in game 2, ah, nanalo ang team random. It was a stop. It was a stop, but kill wise, no. Pero uh, objective wise, na frustrate sila ng uh, OG gawa ng mga split push antics ng, uh, ng OG. But uh, in the end, team random overpower the Arc Warden strategy. Pero in game 1 naman, OG Dota, they, uh, they go even for most of the match until OG Dota just outperformed them in the team fight. Just took them one team fight lang, eh, no? Para oh, so team fight lang, na. dire na yun. And so, uh, uh, both teams, meron silang uh, talagang iwapat ba? Just proving uh, how good the uh, the three-time major champions are against the uh, defending TI uh, champions. So, Team Random will be banning out. Once again, they don't want to deal with the illusion strategy coming out from OG Dota, but they do secure the Alchemist. This is going to be the Ana hero. Oh, nga. Napansin mo, in all of these three games, Alchemist has been contested three times. So, both teams valuing the hero. Oh, valuing uh, talaga. And uh, makikita natin dito, OG Dota naman. Uh, this might be the game where they want to go na sino tayo babalik nila sa utility core. Mm -hmm. Iba pa utility na lang nila. They're not going to uh, make him as the focal point. Kanina yun yung ginawa nila, yung Arc Warden. But so far, OG Dota, they really perform to the best of their capability when they have no tail in set you going utility serving as uh, the team's uh, parang fear na figure mm -hmm. kung, uh, kung sa EG pa oh, veteran veteran moves veteran yeah. moves oh parang ganun i think that's the that's the correct option the correct choice then to do kasi mas explosive talaga si Ana eh boy diba oh you know yeah. now so ito nako OG Dota they uh, go for the ban on the timber so maybe to help secure the rest of their stuff they have a 3 hand protector which is a little bit soft talaga pagdating sa against the timber so kasi you, the timber so can break the invisibility by uh, destroying the tree line and so good uh, ban dito by OG Dota but I don't know if uh, team random has a you know team random has a uh, if they're known for really having a uh, timber so centric na mga plays it's certainly a hero that they can play but it's not like they really uh, hindi sila katulad ni LGD maybe last year yung kay maybe Ayaw. the, the maybe timbers so dun talaga nagre -re one of the best oh, yun, one of the best in the world when it comes to timbers so especially in the mid na kami si maybe no yes uh, say chinese it's an international land without maybe no, sa mga di alam si maybe one of the brightest stars of the year oh. last year last year yeah, last, last year, year. Oh, talaga no. shining manila major onwards oh, oh. so manila last manila. Eto, third pick para sa team random they get the rubik so uh, things are shaping up oh, green strat sila dito wow. oh green strat nga sila no monkey king my nature's prophet my uh, my rubik, rubik. the rubik pick Relatively stable at the very least naman na uh, meron siyang high profile uh, ultimate na pwedeng kunin the overgrowth bigla kukunin niya agad yun eh uh, pag binagsak yung overgrowth very ano siya very conspicuous siya eh. it's very easy to uh, very easy to steal then very easy to steal kasi usually you're already spamming the living armor so most of the time when you do drop the uh, overgrowth uh, yun, yun na lang wala kang uh, walang ipapalit na skill pa para nakawin ng uh, rubik dito sa game natin so para early tignan na natin kung sino ano, na, gising pa nanonood sa Twitch chat natin at uh, mukhang naglulok sa pa rin ang uh, lupon. Alam ko pati dito uh, nag-down tempo tayo eh dahil oh, nagawa ng pagkatalo pero ganun talaga wala tayong magagawa. So, Actually, uh, yung iba sa Sepaw, naglaro sa VIP. Naglaro oh, sila dito. Kasama sila uh, itik, kasama sila Bianca. O, oh, kasali sila Bianca. Actually, yun na ang gusto ko. Ganun din bukas. Ano, bukas yun ang gagawin namin if you're in the area. Of course, we will still be covering it. We will still be having this pub stop. You can still come in, watch the games, join us. But you can also play with us. Buwas may mga rotation kami na mga cast, syempre. So, uh, mga kalaro nyo, si Kuya Nick, si Trike, ako. Uh, kahit anong games na gusto nyo. Pero kung 5v5 na Dota, pwede kayong uh, punta dito sa... Buwa kayo ng lima, di ba? Buwa kayo ng lima, oh. oh. And who knows, kapag uh, naka-ano tayo, kapag nakalibre tayo, we can even play dun sa show match area ng uh, DNC High Ground. So, hindi nyo alam, merong uh, parang booth Kung kunwari nandun kayo sa LAN, mm -hmm. oh, meron na nakasetup dito sa DNC Grounds. So you can join them tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we will still be casting, uh, first game will be IG. IG so versus uh, Liquid. Oh, napakaganda uh, match-up doon pa. The rest of the, ano, na ako na yan. I, I actually will be casting game one kasi ako yung uh, specialist natin pagdating sa Chinese Dota. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that will be uh, VP versus VGJ nako napakagandang matchup nito and then uh, faceless versus yung mananalo nito so the entire semi finals will be uh, done tomorrow it's still best of 3 it's still single elimination so we hope you'll join us tomorrow but back to the draft team random lina nagiba na 
Bla, ano na, green red. Green stop red go. Na. Mm. Stop and go na uh, magiging uh, labanan ng team random dito. They have good team fight. Uh. The Lina, the Rubik, and the Monkey King. Very good team fight. While the Nature's Prophet can make things happen around the map, opening it up. So maybe team random will go for some sort of split push type slash four protect one na strategy where apat sa kanila naghahanap ng laban around the map while yung uh, Nature's Prophet eh nagtatrabaho ng ano, buhay OFW. Oh. Pero OG Dota, maganda rin ang pick up nila rito, paring RD. I like this team so I, I like this Legion Commander pick kasi kaya nilang ano, eh, nila i-isolate lahat ng mga heroes dito, lalo ni Nature's Prophet pag naswertehan sila dito. Ayun nga, and uh, kapag nahuli talaga itong uh, Nature's Prophet sa simula, mabublant nila yung uh, split push power and uh, they might just completely run away with the game if the Alchemist is uh, left uh, Undefended. Now that being said, the Lina, the Rubik, and the Nature's Prophet, pwede rin silang, and the Monkey King, lalong-lalo na, pwede silang mag-early gank. Mm -hmm. Mala VP na style na yung Nature's Prophet, early yung teleportation, maghahanap sila ng kill, and then they keep the Alchemist down. So, possible din gawin ng uh, team random yun. Many ways that this game uh, can play out, but both teams setting themselves up for victory. May protection ng OG Dota sa Rat Dota, at the same time ay Catch out potential sila sa split push, but team random can overpower them. Tama. Both teams shaping up very nicely. Ah, uh, pinag last last I think earlier this week pinag-usapan natin yung importance ng nature's prophet ngayong meta, no? Ah. Anong sa tingin mo ano? Sa tingin mo ba this nature's prophet is going to do the teleporting or you're just gonna go to sa straight to the lane lang talaga? Well, that's the thing. Ano siya eh? Marami siya pwedeng gawin eh. I think the only thing na hindi pwedeng gawin or hindi gagawin, hindi naman sa hindi pwede. But the only thing na hindi gagawin ng Nature's Prophet dito is yung parang cliff jungling. Yun lang, hindi lang siya magja-jungle. Uh, it's still going to go to the lane pero may access sila to the teleport ganks na maaga. Okay. Oh, maaga kasi Nature's Prophet, bigyan mo lang ng Null Talisman yan. Kahit level 170 plus na yung damage niya. Yun nga, Ganun yun. kasakit yung right click ng Nature's Prophet sa simula ng laro. So they can stay with the lane or they can enable ganks depende how they play it out. Team Random, they have the ability to do both. May Monkey King sila sa simula for the roam, for the vision. May Rubik sila na, of course, malakas yung uh, telekinesis, di ba? Makakuha ka ng isang tao isolated pag nabagsak mo pa in the right time, may stun ka pang kasama. So, many ways the team random can play it, but OG Dota will close out their draft with the Ana Ember Spirit once again. How do you like this, by the way? It's... Uh, it's anti-mage. Oh, nako, nako. Gusto ko to, anti-mage din. Pero both, both teams' drafts are pretty good. I have to go with... I think team random on this one. Magand mas magdas nagilin ako sa kanila kasi maganda kayo early game potential nila. Meanwhile, OG is gonna take a little time to go online. Oh yeah, I, I really like the anti mage pick. Then there's not a lot of uh, hard lockdown uh, for the anti mage. Pwede siyang habulin ng uh, legion commander. Pwede siyang marut. Totoo yan, but it's still going to be hard to catch him out of position given na meron siyang monkey king, Mylena that's also going to be landing uh, disables. For him. Now, that being said, OG Dota naman, they can snowball. Tama. They can uh, snowball their advantages. Pero, meron silang dalawang hero na kakailanganin ng uh, some setup time. Meron silang Ember Spirit and Alchemist. So, if Ana can come online earlier in this game, baka that will be enough. But, uh, if they will be trailing from the er early part of the game all the way until the end, talagang sasagasahan sila ng uh, team random. Kawa nang uh, meron silang anti-mage na backup dito. Mm -hmm. So, for Protect 1, strategy for Team Random, online for them. Split Push, also online for them. Meanwhile, on OG Dota, may superhero sila. Meron silang uh, Alchemist and they have the pick-off potential with Trian Protector and uh, Legion Commander combining with the Embers. Na this is shaping up to be a great, great match. Excited na ako. Let's get on to the game. We have OG versus Team Random. Game number three, winner, winner goes to the round of eight while the loser goes home. Sayang yung pat nun kung natalo ka, no? Oh, talagang uh, sayang talaga. And uh, wang uh, may bisita akong darating dito pero mamaya ako nakabatiin. Pero uh, magandang gabi po sa lahat ng nanonood sa Wombo Combo, twitch.tv slash Wombo Combo. Uh, kami po ang magiging casters nyo for this game. Si uh, Paolo po at uh, si RD. Tong hayaan po natin ang mangyayari dito. Will OG secure the victory? It's one and one now in uh, both of their games. Yes, to the hero introductions, we have for Team Random, Ice Ice on the Monkey King, 
Blink on the Lina, Faith Bian on the Nature's Prophet, Shadow on the Anti Mage, and Y on the Rubik. On the dire side, naman, it will be No Tail on this uh, Alchemist, S4 on the Leg Legion Commander, and uh, Ana will uh, bring up itong, uh, Ember Spirit. Meanwhile, uh, the Crystal Maiden, sino bang mong dadalhin itong uh, Crystal si Maiden? Fly, uh, this is Fly's Crystal Maiden. And then uh, Jerax, full action Jesse on the Tree and Protector. Niisip ko nga eh kung si Fly ba yung uh, magti Tree and Protector. Alam natin signature hero niya yung CM. Uh, however, uh, yung defensive, ano kasi siya, siya yung mas defensive, mas nagro-roam naman uh, si Jerax. But uh, it still makes sense for Jerax to have uh, access to this uh, Triad Protector. So, makita natin, this Triad Protector will not be uh, pulling or uh, doing uh, much babysitting. Maybe ang gagawin niya rito is talaga mong bubisit siya ng lane. Maybe even going for the Courier Snipes. In fact, Courier Snipes, snipes ano, that being said, pero hindi pala yung Courier. Akala lang nila, but uh, it's going to be uh, the Monkey King in disguise. Meanwhile, Nature's Prophet doing a good job pulling the first lane of creeps. Oh, grabe yan. No? Makikita mo ngayon. Walang uh, lane creeps for a while uh, dito sa taas. Uh, but it will uh, crash down with the next ano, with uh, the next wave. So, cheeky plays once again for Team Random. Ito talaga yung ano eh. No? Dito talaga yung nagiging kilala ng uh, Team Random eh. Hindi sila, hindi, they're not... Uh, complete draft masterminds hindi sila malapipi din na style pero meron pa ring uh, certain oomph factor yung uh, ginagamit nila pagdating sa kanila mga hero picks kanina nakita natin yun in game 1 nakatabi dito sa 3 line yung less rock yung no? less rock 5 uh, minutes less than half na yung ano less than uh, half na yung uh, buhay ng Tori dito sa taas napakalupit ka noon eh yung mga isang things na exciting about Dota eh, no? all, all those cheeky plays that you can do Oh, ina yung mga reminiscent of Dota One Days ano na. Basa, basa gagana, oh, they okay. So oh, uh, Jerax, pumuposisyon dito. They have the ano, they have the vision on that high ground. Meanwhile, uh, si S4, uguluin siya dito ni uh, Ice Ice naglalakad. Parang merong libreng taunt item eh, no? oh, yung uh, <laughs> yung Monkey King. Kasi meron siyang disguise eh, the the fourth skill. Itong uh, Monkey King natin. Kaso nakita nga natin ng previous ng game 1. Pag taunt ka na taunt, baka matalo ka. Ayun nga lang si uh, Disco, uh, Disco Pony Disco na ko. Pony. Magsasapakan sila rito. But Ice 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 has a slight advantage. Meron siyang Jingo passive. Gagamit niya pa rito. Ayun, makikita mo nga. Naku, medyo masakit. Ang palo niya kahit na support lang to. And Shadow will go forward. Naku, munti ka ng matumba doon. Si S4, uh, he will drop the... Uh, uh, the AOE skill, the press, the ah uh, no no, the overwhelming odds. Kagamit niya, and uh, he will be forced to uh, trigger ang kanyang uh, shrine dito. Very very early on, not that big of a deal, but he will not have access to that. Pagdating ng level two, level three power spike, mm -hmm. neto ng uh, lane natin. Meanwhile, dito sa taas. Fate Bian. Ayun lang. Nandito lang siya, but kung tutusin, pwede niya nga teleportan yun eh. But uh, he will be playing more conservatively. Meanwhile, No Tail, virtually uh, uncontested, uh, gawa na rin na dito rin kasi si uh, Lai. Ganda ng, ano, ganda ng late matchup so far. But so far, Antimage has been leading the board with 17 to 6 CS. But Alkim is not far behind. Oh, Ana, uh, going aggressive dito. Alam niyang wala masyadong uh, mana tong si Blink. The Flame Guard uh, DPSing down this Lina. But uh, it will not be a kill. However, Ana is leading us. Uh, konti lang naman. Tatlong uh, creep kills lang naman against uh, etong uh, Lina. And, so, I like what I like what Nature Prophet's doing this game. Kasi, ano eh, ina-expect na siguro ng kalaban na, ah, teleport kang to kasi may Monkey King and ano, may Lina, may Rubik. So what he did was, ginawa na lang niya. Yung mga triad, ano na lang. So he got the early advantage by pulling the creep wave kanina and ayan na. Ayan na Pero at the same time, itong uh, si no Tail, he's getting a lot of mileage out of uh, farming itong solo. I mean, si Fabian is trying his best to stop him. Dito si Ana, he will not go down. He will trigger his own shrine as well. So both shrines have been triggered in the early game. Na po force ng random na i-expend yung early regeneration options ah, ng OG. So that might uh, come back to bite them. Kapag, uh, well, pag nag-power spike talaga itong mga ito, maybe kailangan nilang boots.
maybe uh, some maybe uh, an early face boots for Fate Beyond, and uh, he will right click uh, very very effectively, and uh, they won't have uh, the benefit of having the regeneration. But nako Ana dropping low, he will get caught out by Light Strike Array, and the tower will chip him down. Ayun na, katulad yun nga yun. Kanina, nakita natin. Ang baba ng buwan niya, ginamit niya yung shrine. But uh, instantly, bawa-babayan na naman agad ng Team Random. So he's uh, operating at 50% HP. For the, remainder, oh, for the remainder of this uh, laning stage. I think yun na rin yung pinaka-go signal to go in and gank. Kasi wala na kayong shrine, diba? Tulad na sinasabi mo. You can go in mid and get that early kill on the Ember Spirit. Oh, ito na nga mukhang ang hinahanap doon ngayon ng uh, random Innocence and Shadow looking for S4. Meanwhile, OG will make a play. The root will be dropped and Fabian will go down dito. Jerax drawing first blood. Ang ganda na ginawa nila doon. Pin tinarget nila agad yung Nature's Prophet kasi expected na mag-TP in sa mid. Eh. Oh, at hindi lang map. yun. Ang, uh, ang, ang mangyayari din doon, mabibigyan nila ng uh, magandang lane uh, dito si Notel. Uh, gawa ng siya ngayon ng uh, merong uh, merong uh, ano eh, Il hero na magiging superhero nila as the game drags on. Tama, extra gold sa kanya. Pero wala. Well, the, the kill went to Jerax, but ah, at yeah. least meron siyang uh, assist gold and of course the ex the experience is always welcome. But more than that, nabigyan siya nung uh, free creep wave na walang magko-contest sa kanya, the Grievous Greed. Yung uh, gold na extra gold bonus na ibigay nun. Malaking bagay na yun. Ako, S4, may kipagsuntuan dito ay Shadow. Wala siyang mana. He might get uh, chased down. Shadow doesn't have ultimate, however. So he will just walk back to safety. Delikado yun na hindi niya masisigurado if uh, nandun yung uh, monkey king. It. That could have been uh, a kill. But, uh, okay, I don't know, hindi ako nag-agree dun sa pasok ni S4 dun. He could have very easily died, but... Makita natin ito, OG going for a smoke gank. Malam nilang nasa vicinity itong Monkey King. He breaks the smoke. And mobility by uh, Monkey King. Paying Grabe off yun. for them. Alam nila na nandun. Sa Grabe area na yan. Very nice play gank from Ice Ice. Pwede ka na magton ulit. Yan nga. Pwede, yung, uh, yung kahapon nakita natin yun. yun. Nasa loob dyan ng puno. Nag-ano siya, nag-disguise siya as puno, pero nahanap pa rin siya. Oo. Kasi sino man, sino man namang mag, ano, sino man namang mauuto sa puno on puno. Yun nga eh, grabe. Pero, ah, uh, dito, they, ha they don't find a kill on Ana. Ana regenerating uh, his HP. Yung galing sa kanina, he will pick up that uh, rune. And, uh, nasa likod pa rin nila, the Monkey King waiting on the wings. Of Wings Game of uh, the former Wings Gaming. I see what you did there. OG Jerax naman nasa kabila. So both teams trying to ano ah, split up this uh, middle lane. Nako, babagsak nila. Ana will be controlled and he will go down. But the team OG will be here to try and make something happen. And they find it overwhelming odds. Picks up a kill. But random pick up another kill as well. S4 will get. Controlled by these trees and in innocence will live. The Masya body naman blocks up. are so good. Three wow. to two now, and here we are. Nature's prophet. Sa kanya rin, double kill. The global presence of a nature's prophet uh, lineup, showing its uh, power here in the early game. Grabe yung block, body block nyo doon. Talagang hindi na nakahabol. Hindi lang enough yung uh, Sprout. It's, Sprout is already a fairly long cooldown as far as crowd control skills go. But once you uh, pair that up with the Triants. Sinakto niya bago mamatay yung Sprout. Eh. Ginawa niya na puno agad. Ginawa niya Triants Maximum agad. duration. Eh, no? Maximum duration. And that allowed uh, Innocence to live through S4 trying to chase him down. And so that will result into Team Random picking up an early kill lead from the three-time major champions. Delicado tong OG dito, ha? They are one of the tournament favorites. They uh, have been cons they've been consistent since uh, the end of uh, TI. Uh, I think sa TI lang, masasabi ng tao na medyo like, underperform sila ano, uh, compared to expectations nung uh, binagsak sila ng uh, TNC. Uh, however, they went on to win Boston and they've uh, gone consistently in the top placings of uh, the last few uh, tournaments na pinasok nila, including a finals appearance at DAC. Tama ka dyan. At ayun na nga. Hotel, getting the, uh, getting the tower. Ay, pala. Si Jerax pala yun. So, 
in uh, either way, no tell gets the money, but then, and he's above the network charts with 5-5 five, five oh, uh, so dito, Ana going hard on Blink, papagsak na yung root, but he will drop a remnant to go back. Alam niyang nandun si Ice Ice, and so konting uh, harassment lang ang mangyayari doon. But uh, Ana with the confidence to move forward, dahil uh, powered din siya by that arcane root. S4. Lapit na pa sa kanyang dagger. Does he have the dagger na? Parang kote ng pera niya compared to where he should be at this game. Wala pa. Hindi nag, ano kasi nag Facebook din agad. Yeah, that would have been the Facebook's first and then of course he did die. Nako, random. We'll be going for a scouting expedition. Mahanap nila rito. S4 has to run for dear life but they will content themselves with picking up itong uh, mga objectives dito. But... Jerox finding them and Ana is here. He will root down. Blink might go down. Jerox still alive. Babag siya finally. But it will be the first dual victory also for S4. So OG equalizing the kills at 10 minutes on. 4 to 4 now. Shadow and No Tail. Both very big threats on each side of the map. As uh, the teams. Continue itong uh, trend nila of uh, evening uh, against each other sa beginning ng match natin. Good play habang nangyayari din yun. Si No-Tail, uncontested pa rin. Kaso ito mo, wala na dito. Uncontested nga ba? Kapag sa living armor is there and he's gonna survive. Sobrang daming, uh, ano nun ha? Sobrang daming survivability nun. Meron siyang armlet. Meron siyang chemical rage at uh, living armor. So much uh, HP for him to survive those gangs. Dude, he's just gonna shrine up and he's gonna get this peeps. So sabi natin kanina sa draft, mas uh, stable yung uh, draft ng random. Nakakatakot uh, if it gets going as early as it can. Uh, they, it, they could run away with this game. But uh, OG so far, pinapakita nila na kaya nilang uh, make up yung, ano, yung mga weak spots nung draft nila. Already, ahead sa net worth uh, chart itong uh, Alchemist. So it's out of the, ano na, out of the sensitive period. And then the Living Armor together with the sustain from the press the attack, from the toggle, and from chemical rage. Mukhang uh, OG are in a good position here to take this uh, series away from uh, Team Random. Pero Team Random, itignan natin itong anti-mage nila. Behind nga, but hasn't died yet. Jerax trying to find something here. Innocent will be going down, but nako mahanap nila si Fly. And that is a kill on a support. Pero hindi makakuha ng kill across the map ang OG. Will it be a kill? Random, random sa so Y. Jerax, supportal combat. Will they? Nako, hindi. Magkakakitaan sila. Ice the Ice here. Guys is there. They know where he is. And ito na. Jerox will go down to this gank by Team Random. That's too deep. Dapat umalis na lang siya doon kanina pa. Oo oh, nga, pero na, napaligiran siya doon. And uh, OG give up two kills. Almost for free there. Not finding objectives to trade with. But they do take top tower. So that is consolation on their end. Will it be enough? Titignan natin. Nature's Prophet completing uh, the face boots. Already, point, already yes. chunking down for sub 100. Ah. Malas na yung ano, malas na yung right click niya at this stage of the game. Pero oh, pa siya nga uh, yung blight uh, uh, stone. Chaka may Midas na rin. May Midas na nga rin siya. So nung simula na ulit yung Midas Major na galing, na galing China. Di ba naman, iisa lang. Hindi, isa pa lang. Isa pa lang. Isa pa lang. Hindi, hindi galing China yun. Yung uh, Midas na yun. That's just uh, teams. Na, no? yeah, that's just teams figuring out na malaki talaga yung advantage na ibibigay ng gold. Binabalik ka sa kanila. Ah, ganito oh. pala magmaidas. <laughs> Ito na tayo. Uh, na. OG will be going for a push of their own. But it looks like they don't have the best pushing heroes dito. Meanwhile, si Ana will uh, pretend himself with uh, farming na lang muna against the uh, shadow. Itong Monkey King, Ice Ice, always a threat around the map. Hindi mo alam kung nasan siya, but they know nandito sa may tree line, etong Ember Spirit. So, Ana wisely uh, porting away. But that means na Shadow has that lane all to himself. Meanwhile, eto na, mukhang uh, titibagin na ng OG itong Tore sa baba. Remember na, mahihirapan sila dito if all five of them are within the range dahil uh, taas ang armor. 
habang nangyayari mga ngayon, Anti-Mage and Alchemy secured their Nako, Battle Fury and Rage's respectively. Si, yung Rubik nakahawak pa ng ano, living armor. Nako, added sustain yan para kay No-Tail, pare. Uh -huh. Pero tignan mo, No-Tail, the Radiance nga. Sab tulad ng sabi mo, this is 14 minutes in. May Radiance siya, may Armlet siya. So, well set up itong OG na to to take the game. Wala na yung ano, na natanggalan na sila ng isang uh, build-up na question mark, which is si No-Tail. Ngayon, kailangan na lang si Ana. Will Ana be an impact? hero here early in this matchup so that they can stop Shadow from uh, just overpowering them later or so that they can stop itong si, si Faith Bian. Kukunin nila ang Tori dito sa taas. It will be a trade. Two, two tier 1 towers down now for Team Random. OG trying to go for the third dito sa gitna. Ayaw nilang magkita. Eh, no? Both teams content to take down objectives. They know that a uh, team crash na wala sa kanilang pabor will uh, result in more lanes. Tignan rito, Randoms Y will defend the mid lane uh, seemingly by himself. May chemical reach siya na agaw doon. Oh, no. Ito yung palagang tanong ko ngayon. So, itong mga, itong Team Random and Team OG, hindi sila nagkakakitaan sa mapa. So, mm -hmm. ayun, pare sila nag umiwas sa teamfight, di ba? Mm -hmm. Who gets the better, ano uh, dito? Well, better, uh, better uh, deal out of that uh, trade. It has to be Team Random right now because they're naturally set up to take those types of ano. Pero ngayon, nako Random, they will set up the ano. Ana, beautiful sleight of fist to get out of that stun. Well played there. Quick thinking on the part of uh, Team OG's mid laner to escape certain death. Pero yun nga, ito na pinag-uusapan natin. Team Random has to have the advantage there dahil papunta na sila sa point na pwede silang gumawa ng dalawang ganun eh. They can have Shadow on one area and then si Fate Bayan to split push another area kung hindi sila magkakakakitaan. But uh, OG kasi, they can go for a uh, push but it has to be uh, hard push eh. Hard push ang kailangan niyang gawin dahil kailangan pa rin nilang protektahan ang investment nila dito kay no -tail. Hindi pa niya, although superhero to eventually, hindi pa ngayon. Oo, oh, tsaka siya lang kasi talaga yung pinaka, ano, eh, source nila ng ano eh ng damage saka ng ano ng win code nila uh, so uh, kailangan kakailangan din talaga nila si Ana na mag step up as soon as possible dahil uh, he's right now he's 50 in the net worth charts we haven't uh, seen him do any sort of high profile pick off that will transition into an objective so si no tail mamanuhin niya tong uh, tore magisa it's going to go much faster than if they had uh, three or uh, four people around him but Random, mukhang nandito. And OG will get spotted out. They should know each other's support staff should be around the area. Nagpapakita dito ang OG. May pop na yung smoke. Grabe, ang lakas ng ultimate nun. Coming from Nature's Prophet. The bounces are real. Oh, hindi lang uh, hindi lang rin sa malakas. Pero sadya talagang wala pang, ano, wala pang item ang everyone else. Kung titignan mo yung net worth natin, leading nga si No Tail. But the rest of his team are way down there. Oh, so, ito, oh, si Jerax, hahabulin ngayon. Faith Bian will be dropping his, ano, nako, boundless strike will keep him in place. And Jerax will go down dito. It's just a matter of time. And, nako, mga hindi pa nila mahahabol, ha? Will the dust run out? Oh, no, it will not. Naku. But now, OG, with the counter-attack, Ana will pick up the first kill. And Faith Bian goes down as well. Two for one sale dito sa bottom lane. And OG are positioned to take this tower. Meanwhile, sa gitna, Blink picks up a kill of his own. Fly going down. But ang ganda ng ginawa ni Jerax doon kasi ginibait niya talaga doon sa corner. So, Natagalan. Na makatakas, eh, Natagalan. No? That was communication. Uh, to communication talaga yun uh, from uh, the OG team to keep them in place and wait for reinforcements. Gold Graph dipping slightly towards OG. Negligible na lead for them. But let's see if they can... Uh, Snowball this into a complete and total advantage. Napush na nila lahat ng ano, tier 1 towers. It's only a matter of time now if uh, OG can uh, spread the wealth, so to say. Because uh, random, uh, random are uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, even when it comes to gold. Pagdating naman sa overall gold uh, distribution ng team. Mm -hmm. Tama ka dyan. 
Now, OG trying to get the middle tower, Castle Fortified it, and they'll eventually get it. Now, good play dito from uh, OG backing away doon. Hindi nila makita kung nasan yung uh, rest of the team eh. So, they will go for the teleport sa taas. Ana completing that uh, Boots of Travel 18 minutes into the match. You are watching Game 3 between Team Random. Jerax starting off the fight. Blink will be stunned up. He will be rooted. And Ana will pick up a kill. Ganda nun. Di na siya namin na slide of his castle. Ito sa top. Mahahabol pa rin. Dito the duel gets. Nakita mo yun? Kinutdown nila yung 3. Tapos inintay nila yung stun duration to get those extra right clicks in before dropping the duel. Tama ka dun, Pao. Napahipigil hininga kami dun. Oo, makita mo. Akala mo ano mangyayari. Pero yung pala, very good play by S4. Bilang na bilang. Very, very efficient uh, spread of damage there before the dual victory. So, 8 to 8 now. And suddenly, OG, from trailing sa anilang mga net worth, uh, Ana finally picking up the important kill mm -hmm. onto that uh, Lina here. And so far, and Team Random. Siya, no? uh, Team Random is the one who's supposed to look for the fights across the map, trying to get uh, Shadow have as safe a time as farming as possible but so far OG is the one doing that effectively para dito kay no tail and he's having the time of his life dito he has a manta style now it's 20 minutes in the game kasabay ng alchemist pa rin talaga hindi talaga sila nagkakatalo towards the items na ginagawa nila and this is ano ito this is no tail uh, saying na uh, okay ah pinugo nyo ako nung game 2 yung arc warden ko na maaga yung uh, maidas eh Inulit-ulit nyo ng gang. O ito ngayon, pigilan nyo ngayon. On this alchemist, he doesn't even need that Midas to uh, get uh, this high up. And he can fight or he can farm as much as he wants. Ito na ngayon, OG will start the fight. Babagsakan nila all of their skills. But Shadow is here. Wukong's command will be dropped. And OG have to sacrifice the life of Jerax dito. No Tail is still here. Ana trying to run away from this engagement. But OG, they want to fight this. Wala na yung Wukong's command. And they find Shadow here on the sidelines. They find the duel on him. And he is out of the fight. Why? Running away and no tail with the double kill. Good, kill Good call on them. It looked like a fight they didn't want to take. But in the end, they got the price that they wanted. It was the anti-mage. Grabe yun, Pao. Itong uh, Manta style ni no -Til will be used to push here momentarily. They pick up the, no, they pick up the creep wave there. And this might be the, 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 the first tier 2 of the game. And OG are poised to take the final match in this elimination series in the round of 16. Grabe, Alchemist is just huge with 18,000 net worth pare. Ito na, papuo na siya ng ano niya, kanyang Octarine Core. 7,000 gold, ah. dalawang, dalawang level 3 items ang lamang niya against this uh, anti-mage. Pa-item check nga tayo dyan. Tignan natin ang uh, magiging ano niya ngayon. And uh, we can see here, Jerax building that, uh, building that medallion of courage. This will transition into an early solar crest to keep no tail alive. Meanwhile naman, sa kabila, si Shadow, nakakompleto na siya ng Battle Fury and uh, Manta style. that Manta style. But wala pa siyang enough survivability. Kaso Kapag na-engage talaga siya dito, pupunitin talaga siya ni S4 at ni Ayinote. Yun nga yung nakita natin kanina, anti-mage, easily dying. Kailangan ng taga, mahuli yun eh. Yun, the question is what, what can OG is get tightening it? the screws against this. Random team, hahanapin nila doon. They predicted where he will blink out, but no follow-up CC. Meanwhile, in no man's land, Innocence will fall. And uh, itong Lina will be next on the menu. Ahabulin siya. The Laguna Blade will not be enough to pick anyone up. Nandito naman, the Root catching uh, the escaping, uh, teleporting ano, Faith Beyond. And it is a triple kill for No Tail. There is no stopping him in this match so far. And it will be tier 2 in the mid lane for OG. OG trying to push the middle. It, it, no Tail is getting huge with 21k network, pare. Pabuo na yung Octarine core na dito. Meanwhile, yung other cores ng Team Random, wala pa rin damage damage at madali pang mamatay. Nakikita mo, no? As far as... Uh, this tournament has gone as well. Hindi nagiging priority yung mga early items like the mechanisms. No, they just want the auras. They just want uh, things like uh, the Midas. 
because nakakat down yung uh, time kung kailan nagiging uh, relevant Tama. ang uh, something like a uh, mechanism so ngayon no tail already picking up that octarine core there is no stopping hindi na siya nagdo-donate ng item mm -hmm. this is not uh, oh no tail and OG showing a uh, team random how to play an alchemist draft and it does not start by uh, giving uh, 8,000 worth of uh, items to your uh, teammates. Shadow will dodge that uh, stun from No Tail. He will run away. Nako, makakahanap na naman sila ng kill. Blink taking out Ana rito. That has to be good news for them. S4 might be the next to fall. Wukong's command will be uh, will be used to stop and try and uh, kill him there. But no, not enough damage to stop him from teleporting. Nice play coming from the Je from the Jerax leaving armor. Pero maganda rin yung uh, pick of doon, uh, Ana finding himself dead on the sidelines. Mm -hmm. Blink uh, avenging his uh, death doon sa last, class, last clash nila. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Jerax trying to see kung may mga pick of dito. Wala siyang ano, just a scouting uh, expedition for uh, Jerax. He doesn't have uh, anyone uh, near him to help him kill uh, Faith Bayan. Meanwhile, Faith Bayan Di naman siya ganun na uh, ka tanky, but he does have that uh, drums of endurance to help him. And what's done will be dropped. Leech Seed is here, and Ana is in the vicinity. Faith Beyond will be trying to escape. Will they find it? No, the root will be committed. The stun is there as well. Nice play coming from OG at the same time. S4 got picked off from the map. Malapad na naman ng uh, lead ng ibang mga players ng ano, uh, OG. Pero nakita mo yun, no tail blinking forward. Dropping the stun and bye bye Blink. And this will be OG's Roshan. Random is not in any position to contest this. And this might transition into a high ground attempt. There are no buybacks. Death timers are fairly low still. However, OG can overpower this team. Ana, third in net worth. Shadow, the only one with the damage to really uh, drop. Uh, to, to really uh, keep up with the cores on uh, OG right now. Medyo ano pa eh, medyo cooldown dependent pa yung damage eh, netong Lina. Mm -hmm. But he will be alive enough to uh, repel any sort of push attempt. So OG will uh, content themselves with uh, farming and uh, making sure that they hit their next few item timings. Tama ka dyan. And now OG, very close to their winning conditions. Pag ikaw pa, if you're, if you're team random right now, what's the first step that you're going to do? First step, I have to find a way to uh, I have to find a way na makakahanap ako ng mga pick off eh. nga, They tried there, pero nako hindi nila alam No Tail is here, hahanapin nila si Shadow and Shadow will bail on his team Ice 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 is here sa taas, he will be stunned up but hindi nila mahanap No, they're going for the high profile target and the duel will be dropped Shadow is dead, they're going to look for Ice Ice but no, they're going to ignore him instead They're That's going to go for a push dito sa baba Ang ganda nung ano, pasok nila, hindi nila in-expect Na nandoon si No Tail and they missed that uh, first stun. I was going to say they need to find that pick off para makapunta sila sa 4v5 mm -hmm. na scenario where they can at least use their extra resources to keep No Tail controlled. But uh, in these situations, kung sila mauunahan, they will not survive the high ground attempt by this fully realized alchemist player. So Ice Ice is going to trigger his shrine. And here, the rest of OG will try and go push out this tower. Makikita sila doon. Ice Ice has to run away for his dear life. But the high ground push has begun. No tail. The tip of the spear. He will blink forward, dropping the stun and the Manta style. Ana picking up Innocence. And the duel also committed. Two of their supports are down on the sidelines. And... The anti mage is just now waking up from the respawn pit. OG, might, might they take the first barracks here? But they find the stun again on the anti mage. Anti mage. Nako, nag dodge siya doon using the manta style, but he will get picked off by Jerax. And the ultimate no tail is on a godlike streak. Ana on the killing spree. Do they have enough to defend? Shadow, pag mamamatay siya dito, this might be the end. The stun layered on him. The root as well. Will he escape? Yes, he will. Back to the fountain for him. But this is OG's bottom lane. Grabe yun, Pao. 
I think ang daming ang daming ang daming nagawang mali dun ng ano ng team Rado they went in one by one para dun ito na nga They don't find the exit kills as OG walk away with their spoils. Meanwhile, Ana hard pushing the mid lane, getting those creep waves to smash into that tier 3 tower in the mid. They've already opened up etong bottom lane. And now, with the Aegis advantage, OG might look to do another one. Nako, pumunta na dito si Ice Eyes trying to make the hero play, but instead finds that he is dead. Ana is dominating. Nako. May uh, posta ka ba sa Team Random o ang ano ka? Hindi. Ay, wala naman, wala naman. Nako. I just I mean, I mean I should be you should be pleased if you were uh, if you were an OG uh, fan, but if you are a fan of the Wings team that captured the imagination of uh, countless people because of their uh, impressive dream uh, dreamlike run to the championship at TI6, you will be feeling uh, pretty sad. Tama. But uh, such is Dora, such is life. And so, babalik tayo rito, random. Trying to push out the top lane. Trying to find uh, some sort of a win. But he will find himself going toe-to-toe -to -toe against No Tail. The rest of OG is here. S4 providing support. They find the root on him. Will they drop the duel? And the duel is here. And he will go down. 80 seconds in the sidelines. Nakita mo doon, patience for S4. Niintay niya, niintay niya. What will this anti mage do? And nakita niya na he is being controlled, paren. And so they find the right clicks, efficient with the damage spread before he babags up nila. Eto ng duel, and they result with that kill. So important to note then, ah, tignan mo ang ginagawa ng ni Jerax. Already completing. Completed na yung aganims niya. De pinasahan siya na. Pinasahan ng aga. So meron na siya ng aganims. It's thirty. It's 30 minutes into the match. And because of that, OG owns all of the real estate dito sa may secret shop ng Radiant side. Mahal na renta dun. Mahal na renta dun. 20,000 per month na yung renta. Tinarik ko man pa rito dun. Sabi daw, trabaho muna. Oo, wala. Kailangan mo na nga dun. Two months advance, two months deposit para lang tumira dun sa may secret shop. And OG... Will be going for the high ground push dito. Ice Ice copy wounds. Come on. No tail. Eating the brunt of the damage. But to look at that. The chemical rage and the living armor. So tanky on this hero. And para walang nangyari. He will regenerate all of that. Oh, As though he were in the fountain. The he's blinking forward. And it will be fate beyond on the sidelines. Buyback from blink. Do and the ultimate will be dropped. Overgrowth keeping him in place. Shadow is the hero that his team needs here, but Ice Ice will die. Will they get the pickups as the team of OG try and exit the base? No, instead they will go and man fight this AM and he is down. This is game random. What do they have left? It GG is called Team Random. Another no. Another major, another exit for them, paring pa. Another one bites the dust, indeed, paring RD. OG, that was that was a revenge game for No Tail. Wala yung arc war din yah, pugong pugo in game two. But now showing everyone what he can do if you place his faith on him. That was that was a very very dominant showing on Alchemista. Ang agad niya nakuha yung mga key items niya at 12 minutes he already had the armlet and the radiance. Completes the Manta style. Completes 